Hey there guys, Nick Clark here, welcome to Focus Fitness Training. Today, today we're doing our new video, which is our weight versus body weight video. Now, I know it's been a little while since I've uh, put a video out. We had a few technical difficulties that we had to sort of sort out, but we're all back and good now. Anyway, the video that like I said is weights versus body weights today. Now, I see a lot of people tend to ask me the question of, what's the best way to train? Is it with body weight? Is it with weight? The simple answer is both. Okay, it's both. Okay, there's no better way of training. Okay, it's just different ways of training. Okay, you, I always try and stress it in some of my videos, or most of my videos, that of you should train in different ways. Now we are we're asked with bands, medicine balls, uh, barbells, kettlebells, dumbbells, or even just body weight, like I say. Then obviously, if you keep it fresh, obviously the, the, then you're going to get the results you want. Okay, um, but again, obviously weight and body weight do have slight different benefits uh, the way they're done. Okay, um, thirdly, so we weight. Weights are a fantastic way to train, okay, because you can really overstress the muscle. You can put it under that time of tension for a lot longer, okay, uh, than you would with some other exercises, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, like, whether that's training with dumbbells, barbells, weight plates, or even a, you know, a bunch of chains, like, um, I find that the training with them is fantastic. Um, I find with uh, kettlebells and dumbbells. I find they're fantastic because they're really functional and they're three-dimensional, so you can you can sort of have them in any which way you want. Okay, and you can train with them explosively, powerfully, um, strength, or even if it's building muscle or getting more toned. Okay, or even with light weights. Okay, you can sort of still build muscle and get toned and become more athletic. Okay, so again, I find weights are sort of really sort of versatile ways of doing things. Okay. Um, barbells again, they're they're fantastic ways. They're a little restrictive, obviously, because of the bar. Okay, because the bar can't pass through. You can it. Um, but again, they're great for your heaviness, like your deadlifts and your bench presses and squats uh, and stuff like that. Uh, but like I say, off your dumbbells are great for things like bulk bench but squats and kettlebells are great for you, like your swings um, <clears throat> or even Turkish gaps. Okay, but like I say, I think. Um, Weights are great for, like, say, really overstressing that muscle uh, and getting it under that time of tension, and obviously, sort of gonna get you the results you want. Where, like, so where I say, but that's like muscle building, toning, um, more powerful, or, or even strength. Okay, um, but like I say, they can be really versatile in the way that they're used. Okay, um, and the way they're done. But you have to make sure that you challenge yourself. Make sure you challenge yourself when you're working out. Okay, don't. Don't sit in the comfort zone, okay? Because if you sit in the comfort zone, you're never going to get anywhere. You're not going to get fuck all, okay? Because then you're not going to challenge yourself. And that's what it's all about, challenging yourself, pushing yourself, seeing sort of if you can go that step further, okay? Make sure you push those last two to three reps out, even if they're the most gut-wrenching reps you've ever pushed out before, because those last two to three reps will be the most important reps and they'll be the ones that change your physique forever, okay, in the best way possible. Okay, as long as you push yourself, change yourself, lay it all out on the line, okay, whether that's body weight or weight, whatever you're training with, okay, push it to the max, okay, and make sure that you challenge yourself because if you don't, then you'll stay the same forever and you won't get anywhere. Okay, and that is what a lot of people do. They stay in this mundane, boring crap of not challenging themselves. Make sure you challenge yourself. Make sure you push yourself. Lay it all out on the line. And if you're flat on the floor at the end of your workout, then you've done something good. Plus, if you're sore the next day or in the next 48 hours, then you know you've definitely worked hard. Okay. Uh, anyway. But that's that sort of weight. So like I say, they're versatile and they're great for building uh, strength, muscle mass, also in toning in, in different ways. Okay, so I find that they're great for doing that. Body weight, on the other hand, now a lot of people have misconceptions about body weight. Whether like, so well, you're not going to build muscle because it's body weight. That's bollocks. You can build hard, lean muscle with body weight training. Okay, plus it's very time efficient. But so can weights. Weights can be time efficient just as much as body weight, but body weight is very time efficient because one, it doesn't need that equipment. You just need your surroundings and to know what to do. I mean, 
of his views and point about anything I've used uh, when I do point about is maybe a door frame, you know, a wall, the floor, and the pull-up bar that I have that you've seen in many videos that I've had before. as uh, the only thing I use. Okay, maybe the stairs on a kitchen counter, but that's about the maximum. Um, <clears throat> like I say, body weight I find can be efficient because I find it can put you in control of your body again. Okay, uh, right, I've done a six week program before in the past. I felt that obviously I did, I did that and I thought I was going to come back weaker. I actually came back stronger. I felt more alive, more refreshed, more in control of my body, my joints, and my muscles. And that's so I, I was controlling the weights, not the weights were controlling me. Okay, so I find, I find found that that was a great thing uh, to uh, basically experience. Because, like, like I said, I came back with hard lean muscle, okay, and slightly bigger muscle, obviously, but also came back stronger as well. So when I lifted the weight, I was more refreshed, and it was a lot, lot easier for me to sort of improve my lifts, improve my weight that I was lifting as well. Okay, so I find body weight is fantastic. Plus, again, body weight is versatile, so versatile. I mean, you can do loads of things. I mean, push up is your main classic body weight one. Pull ups, they are they are actually a body weight exercise if you just use a bar. Okay, um, so that's about the most limited piece of equipment you can get. Um, <clears throat> But again, there's so many other things you can do. And most ab exercises or ab programs are actually body weight. Okay, they don't actually involve a lot of weight. You can add weight to them, but a lot of ab exercises, uh, you're stressing that muscle with your own body weight. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so body weight can be very, very beneficial um, mm -hmm. when you're training. Because like I say, it's versatile in and there's so many different variations of exercises you can do, different variations of pull-ups, push-ups, planks, sort of squats. You know, there's so many different variations of everything that you can do. So I find that training body weight is fantastic and it's time efficient and, um, and very, very underrated by a lot of people because, like I say, a lot of people have this misconception that you won't build muscle or that it's not good. It is fantastic way of training, especially if you've got no equipment. Okay, or don't feel comfortable going to the gym, or even if you do have limited equipment, or even if you're beginning, you know, because say you travel on the road a lot, if you know you don't want to go to the gym or they don't have a gym, you could do a bodyweight workout in 10 minutes, okay, and with maximum intensity, okay, and if you're flat on that floor, then you've done more work than most probably somebody's walked on a treadmill for 60 minutes. You know, you've, burnt more, you've burnt more calories in them, you know, you've worked harder than them, and you're sweating buckets, and they're not, because, you know, they coasted through their workout, and that's what a lot of people do, they coast through that workout, and, you know, you're not going to get anything out of doing that, like, so for example, you know, say you, one guy does a certain amount of weights, and you do exactly the same weights as he does, the same exercises, the same weight, okay but you do it in a shorter amount of time than he does so you do it in say 15 minutes he does it in 30 minutes who's worked harder you have because you've done it in a shorter period of time you know you've worked a lot lot harder you have burnt more you gained more and you would have stressed the muscle so that you get that response and get that sort of, uh, sort of the, the results you want a lot quicker in a, in a much better and efficient way okay. but make sure you train safely don't don't be stupid about it make sure you train safe okay uh, you, you must make sure you train safe uh, when we're doing this but um, like I say I find one way is a great way to train just as much as weights okay so I would say if you're training do both mix it up man you know sort of have some weights and body weight exercises in it, have some band exercises, have some stability ball exercises in there, mix it up, keep it fresh, make, don't make it boring because otherwise the body does get bored of doing the same thing, okay, you have to keep it fresh, now, I like to try, try and change my workouts every single time, I never keep it the same, okay, I'll always change it amount, I may do a workout of them before, but not for quite a while, you know, I'll or maybe do it six months later, you know, but again, it's still changing it up, okay, so make sure we keep it fresh, keep it, 
you know, sort of fun for you, basically. Okay. But anyway, obviously, you know, just make sure you, uh, you train safe and healthy, but push it all out there. Challenge yourself, okay? Do not settle for ordinary. Do not settle for average and be boring and sit in that comfort zone. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Okay, guys? Uh, anyway... Obviously, um, that is the body weight versus weight video. Okay, I hope you liked it. Obviously, if you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. Obviously, uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook and YouTube channel Focus Fitness. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel Focus Fitness. Um, obviously, uh, because the more you do, the more we can do. And the more, and if you do subscribe, or if you're never going to miss a video, and you can follow us every single step of the way. Okay, so you can get all the best, latest, up to date tips. Okay, uh, on health, nutrition, you know, uh, exercises, uh, and, and sort of stretches, mobility, um, and all that sort of thing. Okay, but anyway, like I said, obviously, I hope you guys like the video, enjoy it, obviously, and I will see you guys in a few days with my new bodyweight evolution video. Okay, cheers, bye.